Hello, welcome to my program on managing performance. My name is Bob Sishadri, and today we're going to talk about the stages and the use of progressive discipline. <clears throat> there are several stages of progressive discipline. It's a cascading process. First, determine the aspects of the performance that must change with the employee. Second, agree on what will happen if those changes do not take place within a certain time frame. The third is documentation. The fourth is communication to the employee. The fifth is to reevaluate at the appointed time and date. And the sixth is to apply the consequence. Notice the consequences are progressive. They start from the mildest. You might have to go through the cycle several times, depending on the value of the employee. We work with the individual to identify the problem and address it together. Determine aspects of performance that must change with the employee. Recognize the criticality of the behavioral and the performance aspect of the employee that you have assessed and you feel must change. Many have been blue-eyed boys and girls of the company. Find out what is it that has made them change. Agree on the consequences with the senior management team on the steps to be taken once you've agreed on the need to change within a specific time frame. It could be a counseling session to start with or a verbal signal, a written warning, followed by probation, demotion, suspension or termination. Documentation ensures important information doesn't get lost. It's also important for legal reasons. Please hear my talk on the importance of documentation. Communication to the employee is equally important. Written records are used to improve communications between you and each employee and the important decisions you have taken about the performance. Writing things down helps both parties determine if they are in the same page. Reevaluate at the appointed time and date. Never miss on this one. Set a time and a date with the employee. Agree on it and document it. You must reevaluate on the specified date and write down the outcome. Agree on the outcome and document it and sign it. Both parties have to sign it. State it. State it is of it's to avoid. State why you're doing it. State that you are doing it to avoid misunderstandings. And both understand and agree to the outcome in the same manner. This is something that you need to communicate to the employee because this is always a point of conflict. Finally, apply the appropriate consequence. Think of the effects arising out of a disciplinary action. We invest in an employee over the years. The cost of replacement and the effect on the team in terms of morale and the company reputation is something to be concerned about. Give employees adequate time to improve. Be the teacher and the helper. If it does not work, be the boss. Performance management is an important tool for disciplining an employee. We should consider discipline as the last resort. That's all for tonight. Bye for now.